everybody. Welcome to the joy of trucking. We're heading to Ocala, to Chewy.com. It's just a short little ride. And it's a rainy Florida morning, but we're excited to bring you along. I know we've uh, not had that many traveling videos, so we're gonna take you back on the road today. Through the Ocala Forest, maybe we'll see some bears. What do you think, Kevin? Bears and gators, yep. <laughs> and what's fun about the Deland, the Deland Terminal is you're right by the airport here. And Deland is famous for um, parachute jumping. Yep. Right. You see them all the time when you're coming here to the terminal. Yep. People dropping out of the sky like crazy. <laughs> Floating down on their colorful parachutes. At the end of the street, turn right. And a lot of ducks like to hang out here. Sand hill cranes. Yep. Since we're bobtailing, we're going to take a little shortcut here. Ooh. The other thing to be cautious about when you're bobtailing is you don't have weight on the back, so you need to be aware of that. And we got wet roads this morning. Want to talk about that, Kevin? Well, the, the truck is designed to carry a lot of weight, so you got a lot of rubber on the ground on, on the back on the, on the drives. So without a trailer, even an empty trailer, would give you some better traction, you know, and distribute the weight among all those tires. So with no trailer, you got a lot less traction on your drives. It can affect your braking and acceleration, even your cornering a little bit, I guess. So then, what should you be thinking about when you're... In one half Actually, uh, on when you're on the highway, you should, you should actually drive a little slower leave a lot more stopping distance because if you if you hit the brakes really hard you can lock up the wheels and just keep on sliding through you could go into a spin you will lose control so give yourself a lot more stopping room and, uh, in one turn right on North Woodland Boulevard take it easy on the take it easy on the on the curbs you know like if, if you're going down the highway and you got like a warning sign that says a 55 mile an hour curve ahead you better pay attention because you could, like I said, the lack of traction, you could you could start sliding. Right on North Woodland Boulevard, yes. then make a U-turn. Yes, dear. And take it easy on the gas pedal, too. You might start burning rubber. Busy little place already, eh? Yep. I think we're picking up a trailer today. I see it. 
with a psychic once, but she called me and told me I was going to cancel it, so never happened. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Just in case you're not sure. <laughs> the dad joke. Is it one of the dad jokes? Yeah. Oh yeah, Kevin discovered a YouTube channel. It's all dad jokes. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you know the name of it? Uh, I can pull it up on my phone later. Yeah. Are we really endorsing fun. other YouTube channels? Huh? Are we endorsing other sure, YouTube channels? Sure. I think humor is very important, so I don't mind. Yeah, you know when you when you go, you got the truck stops, right? And you go in the bathroom, and you're American. When you come out of the bathroom, you're American, right? But in Germany, you go in the bathroom, and you're what? European. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say a germ. <laughs> Oh boy. So those are the types of jokes you'll hear there. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, yeah. Yeah. He'll call me up and be like, hey, and I, and then I'll think he's being serious and then comes the punchline. <laughs> I'm like, have you been watching dad joke videos again? <laughs> Not, not very often. 
and I think I've only seen a bear along the side of the highway maybe twice. Once in Colorado, up near uh, Silverthorne, he was climbing the embankment, trying to, try to get away. It was a pretty steep hill too, all rocks. Trying to get away from the highway. Yeah. And the other time? Oh, just just out, like like you're driving along and it's all a grassy field and pasture and stuff. And there's a bear out, out in the field, snooping around. Do you remember what state? No, not at all. They had a, they had one of those signs in St. Croix that somebody had put up as a joke. <laughs> no bears in St. Croix, but there was a bear crossing sign heading east of the north, right, but near Buck Island. There was a bear crossing sign. It was very funny. <laughs> okay, so what load are we on exactly? What what details do you know about this other than the pickup? I guess we're not picking any. Do we know if there's actually anything in the trailer or if no, it's No, actually, empty? actually, uh, the message said if, if the trailer's loaded, you need to call in right away. It's supposed to be empty and waiting for me to pick it up. In one and a quarter miles, turn left on State Road 40. That's green. Gives you your hours. How many hours before you got to take a 30? How many hours of driving you got left today? And your shift hours and your 70 hour clock all shown at once. And how many miles you drove so far today? Um, this is your status. You're in drive. You're driving. Yes, we are. Turn left at the traffic light.
say with the mileage, please? With the bear signs? No. What? Uh, with the load. Oh, the deadhead miles are 61 miles, and the, and the loaded miles are 60 miles. So we were confused. Because we're going straight out, picking up a trailer, and straight back to where we started. So you'd think they'd be the same. But there is a fuel stop on this trip, and it's actually not on the route. We have to go out of our way to get the fuel, so that adds an extra mile. Yeah, so that's really actually... It's actually more than a mile. Oh, is it? Yeah, I believe it is. Oh, well, I thought it was pretty nice of Creed to actually pay you for that little extra, you know, that they would that they would take that into consideration. Right. But now you're saying it's possibly more than a mile. Mm, wait a second. St. Croix. 
because the booze is really cheap in St. Croix. Yeah, you could you could buy a can of beer cheaper than a can of Coca-Cola now. Or there. a sodi water. <laughs> yeah. Your, yeah. Uh, the rum was cheaper than the mix. Yep. Boy, Shed's is big business here. That's like the third or fourth Shed place we've passed. Hog's Pen. That's funny. What's this little town? Oh wow, pet spa. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Yeah. You know, uh, one sign Keep of dehydration. Keep right to State Road 326. One sign of dehydration is you start getting sleepy. Uh -huh. So in the mornings like this, every time I yawn, I take a drink. Ah, uh, that's smart. <laughs> Counteract that sleepiness. It's also good to drink a big glass of water right after you get up. What I've been doing lately... What have you been doing? When I, as soon as 
I get up, and I'm in the truck here, as soon as I as soon as I wake up, I got my vitamins. You know, I usually take some vitamin C and B and all that stuff, but I'll I'll have a glass of water and I put some apple cider vinegar in it. So I get that and my vitamins and hydration all at once. As soon as I get out of here, take that apple cider vinegar on an empty stomach. You know. What is the purpose of the apple cider vinegar? Uh. Originally, keep right to State Road 326. Yep. Uh, I had I had some gallbladder attacks over the years, and so I'm drinking that every day to see if it'll kind of break up and get rid of those gallstones. Right. Or make malic, them, the malic acid. And the that. Malic acid. Yeah, but it's also uh, good for your good for your pH. It's good for your digestion. Good for the blood. You microbiome. Know, yeah. You know. Yeah, your microbiome. Continue you know, John Adams drank a, a tankard of apple cider every day of his life. He lived, he lived a long time. I can't remember now how old he was when he died, but in the early 1800s, if you made it past 50, you were doing pretty good. I, I think, think he, was, he was 92. Was yeah, he? he was way up there. Yeah. It says a lot for that apple cider. <laughs> That's not good for your tooth enamel, so you should rinse your mouth out after you drink it. And and, and you don't put a lot, because it can get pretty no, intense. Oh, no, you're not drinking a, a glass <laughs> of alcohol. You're putting like a tablespoon in there. Yeah. And a glass of water. Silver Creek. What's going on? What's going on?
look at this sign over here. Kevin, Whoa. fresh li livers and gizzard. <laughs> Chicken livers, deep fried. Okay, not your kind of liver. No. <laughs> Still, that was like a that was like a calling sign for Kevin. <laughs> horses, horses. Pretty. This is a racetrack. Yeah. It's breeding racers. Behind the bush. Turn left at the traffic light. There to 75 straight ahead. Fuel up first. You gotta go. <laughs> follow, follow the truck. Hey. Hey, you're trailing some toilet paper. <laughs> In one and a half miles, turn left on Northwest Gainesville Road. It's a tiny house for the Blue Man Group. <laughs> <laughs> He's always prepared. been so long since you've shown me some loves. Make a U-turn. Not yet. 
past 47th Avenue, then take the first left. No, which one's gonna move? Hey, first? there's a creek. So we hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give us a thumbs up <laughs> and comments down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And, and the notification, notification bell. bell. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. ding, ding. ding. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video with love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye. Bye for now.